Hello everyone. Let us quickly revise mole concept. Just like one dozen which is 12 entities like if I have one dozen oranges means I have 12 oranges. One dozen pens means 12 pens. Just like that one mole which is a very very big number especially given for elements and compounds because even a small quantity of any element or compound contain large number of particles like atoms, molecules, ions which are very very small in number. So that is why 1 mole is a very big number 6.022 10 raised to power 23 really a very big number and it is known as Avogadro's number. For example, if I have one mole of carbon atom, see I always have to represent, you know, the which species I am talking about when I talk about one mole. So it is one mole of carbon atom means 6.022 10 raised to power 23 carbon atoms. One mole of pens, that means this big number of pens, 6.022 10 raised to power 23 pens. One mole of water molecules, again Avogadro number of water molecules. This Avogadro number can also be represented by a symbol either Na or sometime NO also. One mole of carbon dioxide means 1 6.022 10 raised to power 23 molecules of carbon dioxide. Alright, now let us talk about uh, the relation of a mole with mass of any particular substance. See, uh, if I have say 12 uh, you know pens or I have 12 oranges that means I have one dozen of both where the number is same 12 pens and 12 oranges but we know their number can be same but their mass cannot be same the mass will be different just like one mole is a quantity where the number is same for any particular species it is Avogadro number but the mass will be different so what is the relation between mole and mass? So for elements, one mole of any element is always equal to its gram atomic mass. And what is gram atomic mass? It's simply its atomic mass which we study in AMU scale expressed in grams. For example, if I have say sodium, uh, sodium's AMU scale mass is 23 AMU. But when I talk about its gram atomic mass, then that is to be taken as 23 grams. You just have to remove AMU and put gram in place of it. So like that few elements it's given and uh, it is say 1 mole of carbon is uh, 12 gram means its mass is 12 AMU. So I have just removed AMU and put gram. So it is 12 gram. For oxygen it is 16 gram. For magnesium a little correction is required. It should be 24 grams for sodium it is 23 grams for chlorine it is 35.5 gram for calcium it is 40 gram so remember all these uh, masses are actually known as gram atomic masses and these are same masses which are there in AMU scale but here expressed in grams so this much quantity of all these elements is equal to one mole and when I talk about how many particles are present in this much quantity of all of them, then that is 6.022 into 10 raised to power 23. So their number is same but mass is different. So here the relation is given if I have uh, example of carbon and hydrogen with me. So one mole of carbon is equal to 6.022 10 raised to power 23 atoms of carbon and in terms of mass it is 12 gram. So we have a relation in terms of number and in terms of mass. If one mole is equal to this much number and one mole is equal to this much mass that means these two things are also same. That means 6.022 10 raised to power 23 atoms of carbon is equal to 12 grams. Similarly, one mole of hydrogen atom. So one mole of hydrogen atom is 6.022 10 raised to power 23 atoms of hydrogen. And in terms of mass, it is equal to 1 gram because its mass in the AMU scale is 1. So when expressed in grams, so it is 1 gram and it is gram atomic mass. Similarly, when we talk about compounds which contain molecules, so there we have to see their molecular mass, which you have 
you know you can easily calculate one mole of water we know in water we have two hydrogen means the mass is two and for oxygen 16 so total becomes 18 so one mole of water is equal to 18 grams similarly one mole of ammonia so ammonia we have uh, nitrogen which is 14 plus 3 hydrogen becomes 17 so its molecular mass is 17 so one mole of ammonia is 17 grams similarly one mole of glucose so if you calculate six carbon are there so six into 12 let's calculate its molecular mass plus 12 into one that is uh, you know mass of hydrogen plus six into 16 so if you total this it comes to be 180 amu in amu scale but if you write a gram along with this then it will becomes the gram molecular mass and it is the mass of one mole okay so let's move further so here we talk about uh, mole concept its relation with mass as well as number so just now i have told you with the example of carbon and hydrogen so now it is one mole of any particle contains same number of particle that is Avogadro number of particle and in terms of mass it is the relative mass of those particle that means you can say the atomic mass expressed in grams this you have to remember one mole of any molecule means 6.022 to 10 is to 23 molecules but in terms of mass it will be gram molecular mass as we have done in the previous slide okay uh, if I take example of water here, then one mole of water means this much Avogadro number of molecules of water and in terms of mass it is 18 grams. Okay, so let us come to certain numericals of uh, mole concept. Let's quickly revise them. First question is how many atoms are present in 1.5 moles of sodium matter? so it's about finding the number of particles in given moles so whenever we solve these numerical video we always have to start with one mole of anything means what we already know about that particular species so what we already know about sodium is one mole of sodium is equal to 6.022 to 10 to 23 atoms of sodium that means the value for unity we already know one mole value is known to us so 1.5 moles of sodium means 1.5 10 raised to power sorry 1.5 into Avogadro number that is 6.022 to 10 raised to power 23. So it is the answer which you can easily solve 9.033 10 raised to power 23 atoms of sodium. So we have uh, some more questions then it is calculate the number of moles for the following now this time we have to calculate number of moles first is in 52 grams of helium and second is uh, that means we have to convert mass into moles and second is 12.044 10 raised to power 23 number of helium atoms so here we have to convert number of atoms into moles so we always start from what we already know now we know better for helium we have one mole one mole of helium is equal to four grams we know because four gram is its gram atomic mass so we have to calculate number of moles so i just write it in this way four gram of helium means one mole of helium so we always look for unit value one gram of helium means one by four moles you can easily understand the mathematics here similarly if we know one gram of helium is equal to one by four moles so 52 grams of helium will be equal to just multiply it with 52 one by four into 52 means 13 grams very simple similarly the second question is a mole and number of particles so we always start from what we already know one mole of helium means 6.022 to 10 raised to power 23 atoms of helium so as we have to calculate number of moles so i just reverse this statement and i write it 6.022 to 10 raised to power 23 atoms of helium is equal to one mole so one atom is equal to we always look for unit value 
सो वन एटम इज वन बाय एवो कैद्रो नंबर वन बाय सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू टू टेन एस टू बाय ट्वेंटी थ्री सो नो वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट हाउ मेनी मोल्स आर देयर इन ट्वेल्व पॉइंट जीरो फोर फोर टेन एस टू बाई ट्वेंटी थ्री एटम सो विल सिंपली मल्टीप्लाई दिस सो इट इज वन बाय सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू टू टेन एस टू बाय ट्वेंटी थ्री इन टू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट जीरो फोर फोर टेन एस टू बाय ट्वेंटी थ्री सो टेन एस टू बाय ट्वेंटी थ्री कैंसल्स एंड दिस सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू टू यू नो इट इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट जीरो फोर फोर सो इट कैंसल्स बाय टू सो द आंसर इज टू मोल्स सो वेरी सिंपल इन ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन वी ऑलवेज हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वट वी ऑलरेडी नो अबाउट दैट पर्टिकुलर स्पीशीज इन टर्म्स ऑफ मोल्स मास एंड नंबर ऑफ आर्टिकल्स लेट्स डू वन मोर क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन से इज कैलकुलेट द मास ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सो दिस टाइम वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट मास पॉइंट फाइव मोल्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन गैस पॉइंट फाइव मोल्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन एटम्स सो इनिशियली नाइट्रोजन गैस इट इज गिवन दैट नाइट्रोजन गैस कंटेन्स एंड टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ओके सो आई हैव टू फाइंड अ रिलेशन बिटवीन मोल एंड मास हेयर सो वन मोल ऑफ नाइट्रोजन we know it is equal to 28 gram because there are two nitrogen in this molecule which is so uh, 14 plus 14 so molecular mass is 28 so one mole is 28 so 0.5 moles will be 25 into 0.5 right so answer is 14 grams means it's half mole one mole is 28 gram so half mole is 14 gram similarly one mole of nitrogen atom if we start with so it is nitrogen atom so we have to take the mass equal to 14 gram so one mole is 14 gram so we already know the value of one mole so 0.5 moles will be 14 into 0.5 so it is 7 gram so it's a value of half mole so <clears throat> let's see some more questions calculate the mass of the following so this time some number of atoms or molecules are given to us and we have to find their mass Six point zero two two ten raised to power twenty three oxygen atoms. We know their mass. This is one mole, and one mole of oxygen means sixteen gram, as sixteen is its mass. So let's start with the statement: six point zero two two ten raised to power twenty three atoms of oxygen is equal to sixteen grams. So we always find for one. One atom of oxygen obviously it is sixteen divided by Avogadro number. Okay. And whatever number we want to calculate, now we multiply it. Three point zero one one ten raised to power twenty three atoms will be that is sixteen divided by Avogadro number, which is the mass of one atom, into the number of atoms whose mass we want to know. That is three point zero one one ten raised to power twenty three. So the numbers are very easy. Ten raised to power twenty three cancel. So three point zero one one divided by six point uh, Zero two two, so it becomes two. So it is sixteen by two. The answer is eight grams. Now the next is about oxygen molecules. When it is a oxygen molecules, then six point zero two two ten is two per twenty three. Uh, it should be molecules here. Molecules of oxygen is equal to thirty two gram because this time I have to take O two. It's a molecule of oxygen. So six point zero two two ten is two point twenty three molecules of O two is equal to thirty two grams, right? And uh, that is the same is asked to us six point zero two two ten is two point twenty is asked. Okay, so let's <coughs> do it. And similarly, you can do it if you know for six point zero two two ten is two point twenty three. What you have to do? So you little homework is there for you. So for one molecule, it will be obviously thirty-two divided by Avogadro number six point zero two two ten is to power twenty-three. And when it is six point zero two two ten is to power twenty, then you will multiply this number by six point zero two two into ten is to power twenty, and you have to solve it. This will give you the mass of this much number of molecules. Okay, so now let's go for this last question, beta. We have to find here the number of particles in each of the following. Number of particles. So, forty-six gram of sodium atoms. Forty-six gram of sodium atoms. What is the number of atoms present in that? 
so we always start from what we already know one mole of sodium you know one part of mole concept is equal to 23 gram it's gram atomic mass and number of particles will be Avogadro number so in this question nothing to do with moles it's about mass and particles so what we already know about sodium is 23 gram of sodium contains 6.022 10 raised to power 23 atoms of sodium right so one gram of sodium one gram of sodium obviously we go for unity 6.022 10 raised to power 23 divided by 23 now as you know the number of atoms in one gram so you can find the number of atoms in any amount 46 grams of sodium atom so it is 6.022 10 raised to power 23 divided by 23 into 46 so this cancels by 2 so answer is 12.044 10 raised to power 20 this is very very simple so once again i tell you one mole of sodium is equal to 23 grams and it contain avogadro number of particles so 23 gram of sodium is equal to 6.022 10 raised to power 23 we find for one gram and then we find for 46 grams so it is 46 gram is simply the double amount better double amount means two moles right so two moles will contain double the avogadro number of particles okay so then we have the question that is uh, how many particles are present in 0.1 mole of carbon atom very simple so we already know that one mole of carbon is 6.022 10 raised to power 23 atoms so when we know the value of one so any number 0.1 moles of carbon means 6.022 into 10 is to power 23 into 0.1 so it is uh, 0 0.6022 to 10 is to power 23 atoms of carbon so i hope you have understood all these numericals please practice you can see this video again and you can understand different numericals of mole concept so thank you so much all of you so i hope you have understood the mole concept Thank you so much.